everybody. Welcome back. Tracy here from TracyBryantStuckey.com. I am a master in the CT coach. So if any of you are looking at going through the MBPTS process for teacher certification, the best process in the world, I must add, um, and you're really wanting information on C3, component three, which is your two videos, your classroom teaching and the student learning entry. I'm gonna, going to kind of be going over a little tidbit here of the way I coach. And I'm going to be doing that by simply building you a triangle. And I want you to think as you're going through processing your component three, how this triangle could work for you for your planning. So we're going to move ourselves over to my document camera. I'm going to pull up my little handy pen here. And so all I'm going to do really is just draw a triangle from the top down to the bottom. And I'm going to kind of tell you how I see component three for you. I see you all starting up here with long-term goals for the lesson. Now those long-term goals are going to be that bigger, broader context. You know, within your state standards, it may be that umbrella and then a bunch of little objectives or targets are up underneath that. So you always have to start with your long-term goals there. And then attached to those would be the lesson goals that you have for that particular lesson. Remember, you have two lessons and really, really important piece to the national board is that those lessons are extremely different. They're from different units. It has a different um, uh, style, whether it be one-on-one, -on -one, small group or whole groups, you can't do the same for both videos. And so we're really looking at that huge word differentiation. It's very, very, very important to the process. So we've got our long-term goals, which are that big, broader context, overarching ideas. We've got our lesson goals, which are the smaller things that within the time frame of that lesson, some of your lessons go on for two days, three days, um, and some of them are finished in 30 minutes. So that's really going to determine what you're up to. Of course, your assessor will only see 15 minutes of this lesson. And yes, the next question is, do they have to be meeting all of the goals? No, they can be working toward the goals, but really no um, reason to put too many goals that aren't really seen or a part of there because you're doing that with the long-term goals. All right, and so then where do we go? Well, then we go down to our strategies that you're going to use, our techniques for teaching. Like I'm using a technique right now with you to help you to visualize what this looks like. Activities, what kind of activity would you do uh, with them? And also this could be your assessment. So some of you would be doing formative assessments or self-assessments inside of the lesson. So that's that next layer of the upside down candy corn. I love candy corn. It's my favorite candy. Well, I was born near Halloween. So anyway, candy corn, that's what I look at this as. Um, it, so now these are extremely important. And remember, we have two videos. I can't say that enough. We want to showcase depth and breadth. So in video one, you do not want to be using the same strategies, techniques, activities, or assessments, formative or self, that you will be using in video two. You want them to be vastly different because you want to show your depth and breadth. That's really, really important. All right. And the last thing here on our candy corn, which I know it's more colors than we really have on candy corn. Um, or is that level of questioning that you ask these kiddos. So we would want to hear you asking things like why, how, in what ways. We want you really thinking of Bloom's taxonomy when you think of this uh, lesson. I hope I spelled that right. I think I did. Oh, y'all, you all can't even see it. I get used to saying y'all, and then I remember not everybody's from the South, like I am. Oh my goodness. Um, by the way, I'm near Myrtle Beach. If anybody's like, where is she? 
That's where I am in the world. I'm in South Carolina near Myrtle Beach. All right, now, encompassed around this entire piece of candy corn for C3, let me write C3 up here, just so you guys remember that, that I'm dealing with C3 here, is very important. Cannot say enough about it. Feedback. Feedback. You should be providing feedback to your students orally, um, within your video. There's two types of teachers that I never really like to see on videos. And one of them is the sage on the stage. You know, that person who's just standing there, like giving all the knowledge, opening up the kids' heads and pouring it in and saying, memorize it and meet it for the test. Yeah, that lecture style. No, 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 no. That's not going to work for C3. Also, um, that robo smiler, that teacher who just walks around and just smiles and says, you're doing great. That's great. I love that. That's amazing. That really doesn't go back to where this all began, which is your goals. So we have to become really, really, really familiar and plan backwards. Notice that the triangle is upside down because it's backwards planning. We're planning from the top down. So any of you who have ever done understanding by design will know that the, the, the very last thing you do in that planning style is your day-to-day -day lesson plan. You don't start with those lesson plans. So that's where I kind of want you to get to is this idea of backwards planning, beginning up with the long-term goals and the lesson goals where you can build out your summative assessments. And, you know, what are the kids going to be able to know and do when I am at the bottom of this piece of candy corn? Okay. All right. So feedback, tremendously important on the C3 videos. Do not forget that. I can't say that enough. And the other thing that is tremendously important is inquiry. And what does inquiry have to do with this? Well, inquiry helps us know that the kids in your classroom have ownership. They have ownership in their learning. So you are that guide on the side. You are facilitating more than you are sage on the stage. All right. So in a nutshell, um, very, very important, plan backwards. Make sure feedback and inquiry are pinnacles inside of this process for you for C3. Two videos are vastly different to show your depth and your breadth. And those kids need ownership. They need to be owning that learning. And if you say, what does that look like? What does that mean? Something that you might really want to look up is called constructivist teaching or PBL, problem-based learning. If you've never are um, project-based learning, problem or project, they're both great styles of getting the kids to own their learning. And I teach kindergarten and they can do it all the way down to kindergarten. I promise. This is not just for middle and high school kids. All right. Once again, I'm Tracy from tracybryantstuckey.com. Head over to my website, visit me, see what I have going on, join one of my challenges for um, the national board process. You'll be so happy you did. You'll know exactly what you're doing, the secrets of how the whole thing works, and you'll meet a lot of friends that are sharing all of their ideas. It's the best place to be, and I have a challenge starting really soon for you. Okay, so Tracy signing off here.